Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to solve this expression in under one second. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to solve this and similar expressions in under one second as well. This is not an exaggeration. You just need to know the right technique. And in this video, I'm going to show you that technique. OK, first of all, let's rewrite this as 500 to the 499 divided by 499 to the power of 500. Now, if this expression is greater than 1, then the top must be larger. And if it's less than 1, then the bottom must be larger. OK, let's write this out again. 500 to the 499 divided by I'm now going to write this as 499 to the 499 and 499 to the power of 1. We can do this because the base numbers are the same and if we add the powers we get back to 500. So now let's rewrite this as 500 to the 499 divided by 499 to the 499 multiplied by 1 over 499. This now becomes 500 divided by 499 all to the power of 499 and we still have 1 over 499 here. This can then be rewritten as 1 plus 1 over 499 all to the power of 499 multiplied by 1 over 499. Now, do you recognise this expression? You may not. It depends what level you're at in maths. Let's write down a general expression for this. It's 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n. Now, if n was to equal 1, we would have 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. If n was to equal 2, we'd have 1 and a half squared, which is 2 and a quarter. But what would we get if we kept on increasing the value of n? So if in the limit we increased n all the way to infinity, what would this give us? Well, it would come to about 2.7. And in mathematics, this is a very important number. I'm sure you're aware that pi is a very important number. It equals 3.142. It's so important that it has its own symbol. Well, 2.7 or 2.718, to be more precise, is just as important as pi. And it also has its own symbol. And that symbol is E. So why is this important? Well, it means that this expression here is going to be about 2 point something, but it cannot be higher than E. In other words, all of this together has got to be less than E divided by 499. And that is a lot less than 1. And do you remember what we said at the beginning? If this is less than 1, then the denominator must be the larger number. So that's the answer to this question. 499 to the power of 500 is the larger number. Now, how about my claim that you can do this in under one second? Well, is all you have to do is look at the powers. If they're both greater than e, and remember E equals about 2.7, 499 
then the term with the larger power is larger. So let's try some examples. What about 73 to the power of 65 versus 65 to the power of 73, which is larger? Well, 65 and 73 are both larger than E, so this is higher because it's the highest power. What about 21 to the 23 versus 23 to the 21? Both powers are larger than E. This is a larger power. This is the one. How about 12 to the 15 versus 15 to the 12? I'm sure you're getting the hang of this now. They're both greater than E. That's the greater power. This is the larger expression. And finally, 2 to the power of a half versus a half to the power of 2. This time, both of the powers are less than E. Therefore, the smaller one is greater, which is this one. OK, that's it. Hope that was useful and I hope you learned something. See you next time.